Good morning. There's freaking enemies everywhere. Oh, wait, what's that? Wait, what's that? What the crap is going on here now? Yes, I've been working on this quite a bit. Spider time. Oh, spider fell. Spider angry. Yeah, so you guys will remember this area, of course. It's the. It's actually the river that goes that goes down through and towards the the mountain house. Uh, someone had suggested that I should make like a little town thing. So what I actually did was I started doing that. So I've, I've built a few houses here. Some of them are slightly different. There's not really much inside of them though. Like this is the I don't know. This would be the little dojo building thing, but it's not really it doesn't really have anything in it. And since I'm not going to be really living in these technically or using them for much of anything, I'm not really up to decorating them. This one's kind of fun though, it has all the, the step entrance and then so it's like a first floor and then a, then a smaller second floor and then a basement. So yeah, just kind of something to pass the time and make the place look a little more lively. I dug this out and put cobblestone paths in. Made everything more fun. And spiders, spiders live here. No, they don't really, but... Yeah. Cows do, though. Mr. Cow? Is that cow still in here? Yeah, this cow's still in here, so, like, the cow wants to live in the home. Alright. It's time to head back to the mountain house. Where we have some additions. One of which you have already seen. And you were probably angry that I didn't mention it while I was down there. Oh yeah, I also built like little kind of tower things just to make this seem more structurally sound than it actually is, even though I should have done the same thing below, but I didn't care, so whatever. But yeah, up we go for this track again. And here we are, the mountain house. Let's see, I think you guys knew about this stuff already. Did I change anything inside? Forget. There's our sign. I don't think I've worked on the inside of this of this uh, particular part of the house in quite a while. There's all the uh, there's all the loot we've we've uh, obtained. I went and mined some more of that obsidian down below. Too much, too much obsidian. <laughs> but now I don't have to go get it for a long time. I'm curious to see if more trees down here ever grew, or if there wasn't enough sunlight. Ooh, these actually did finally grow. Okay. Cool. Yeah. And just to show you the ladder way out, because I don't think I did last time. Uh-oh. No. Should probably double that up. Whatever. Upstairs? No, we didn't change anything upstairs. Alright, let's go downstairs, where all the changes have been made, pretty much. Alright, now, yes, I will actually point out this building now. That is called the Pie Building. For those of you that know why I would have called it the Pie Building, congratulations, especially if you know how to spell it correctly. For now, let's go down here. This room, I did figure out what I want to do with this room, but it'll be a long time before I actually do what I want to do with this room. Uh, like, not even this season, maybe not even next season. Like, I'm serious, a long time before I get the stuff done in this room that has to be done. Go over here. Uh, I didn't change anything here, but we do have more stuff. Lots more stuff. And T and T and the rest of that song. I don't really care about it. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to get rid of this and replace it for a chair or some kind of maybe a table or something, but yeah. See, what I was originally going to do with this is I was actually going to use it as an obsidian, uh, like, farm, but obsidian doesn't work in the way I thought it did, so, yeah. There's the pie building again, and yes, this, I ended up deciding to make this not only a balcony, but I fenced it off, 
And we're gonna commit suicide. Haha! No, we're not, because you can't actually jump over the fences. See? See? You can't jump over it. Character can't make it. Yeah, I still haven't put my custom skin back on. I'll get to that eventually. But wait, there's more stuff down here. There's staircases! Yay! Digging deeper into the mountain. What I did on this side is this is the waterfall that we saw before up there. What I did is I doubled it up and I expanded it and now we have a slightly easier way down if we if we need to. And I could waste all the time in the world if necessary to get back up here. Yeah, just kind of a small waterfall area. There's what the bottom of the pie tower looks like. I built it all the way up. Those are actually pathways you can take and everything. And over here on this side, I don't know what I'm going to do with this room. I was thinking about making it like a, a quote-unquote training room. But then I thought, no, there's nothing much to do here, so why not make it a library? Yeah, but I don't have bookcases and shelves and whatever the crap else yet. <laughs> Alright. And so I figured, well, what about a guest bedroom? I mean, I know nobody would actually be able to stay in here as a guest because this is single player mode, but I don't know, just for like the, the sake of building something. Actually remember to reset the segment, but anyway! So yeah, I don't know. Just for the sake of building something. And I like this, I like this little glass design thing with the window. Just kind of random stuff. I don't know, whatever. And this is just another path out. So, yeah, not much else to talk about here. Let's go to what everyone wants to see, the pie building! The pie building. You'll notice these things, oh yeah, and the waterfall and whatever else. Stuff. What's this? What's this? This is actually the redstone dust that we've collected over the past ages and stuff. Just throw it on the ground, and you can build little things with it. And then you just do that to pick it back up. But yeah, so what's the point of this? Well, those are iron doors. You can't open those manually. You have to open them with either, with a, some kind of switch or something. Now, technically, I could put this switch right next to that right door, and I could put this switch right next to the left door, and all you'd have to do is flip them, and the door would open. But this is more fun. So, let's see if we can get it in camera angle, and... Holy crap, it opened from all the way over there. Whoa, man! So yeah, this basic uh, redstone circuit pretty much just reverse the just reverse the flow, and you're able to get into the pie building. It's not really necessary to flip them both, as you can see, because we can easily get through just that one door, and then they're both technically on. What kind of annoyed me here is that I wanted, like right now, I wanted them to both be off, but I wanted both the doors to be open. But for some freaking stupid reason, every time I take this out, that automatically, like, resets itself to that closed position. And when I do it over here with this one, this automatically resets itself to the... I don't know, it's, it's kind of dumb, so... I kind of came up with the idea of just reversing the flow and somehow making it seem like it works out. But yeah, that's how you get in the pie building. Which I will now go inside. Or, or will I? Hmm, I'm gonna wait till nighttime. I'm gonna wait till nighttime to go into the pie building. Because it'll be more fun that way. So yeah, I don't know what I want to do with this room. If you guys have any ideas, uh, give, give a shout out or something. You guys seem to be pretty good with ideas so far. I'm having a lot of fun with some of your suggestions. This, I don't know, there's not much point to leaving this, this two separate hallways anymore, but uh, for aesthetic pur purposes, probably. Can I burn anything? Nah, I don't want you. Do, 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 do. This is what the, the quote-unquote town looks like from above. It looks kind of better at night when when everything's all dark and everything, but... And everything's all dark and everything. Woo! English language! Okay, but yeah. And you can pretty much just go off the lights, uh, light formations that are down there. See, we, we're going to kind of get that effect now, but... I don't know if it'll work out too well, considering how... YouTube does not like anything related to nighttime. That's okay, though. There goes the sun. There goes the sun. Stop it. Alright, let's go put our redstone and stuff away. 
the pie building. Alright. Should probably make a sign and call it the pie building officially, but whatever. It's not terribly important. Alright, we're gonna put... Wow, we need... We're in desperate need of torches here. So let's do that really quick. Oops. Let's actually use the correct item to make said torches. Alright. Okay, we're gonna leave this behind. We're gonna leave this behind. The rest of this stuff is pretty easily built again. However, I do want another, uh... I do want another flint and steel. Because I'm kind of running out of this one here. So let's go in, uh, the secret stash. And there are no more flint and steels. <laughs> so that means I stored them in the basement. Which I now remember from the previous portion of this video. Crap. One more segment reset. Alright. Isn't it wonderful how I remember to reset the segment when the music is playing? Yeah, I don't know what triggers that, but whatever. There we go. New flint and steel. Alright. Now let's go to the pie building. Oh, wait, yeah. <laughs> the heck am I doing? Well, I could get there either way. I could just jump down this waterfall. And pop out over there. Alright, high building. Dun dun. This is not fitting music for the pie building. You'll soon see why. So let's go inside and... Yeah, I made some, uh, I made some lava falls here and everything. Don't want to break out any of them open, though, because that lava is right there. It'll bust through and destroy the crap out of us. So you might be asking, what is the point of the pie building? Well, this wall, you know, this wall doesn't actually do anything. And the reason this isn't actual stone, it is cobblestone, because I might actually open that up for another doorway in the future. But for now, you notice... It looks like there's a path back here. Well, there is, because there's a second floor to the pie building. What is on the second floor, you may ask? Well, the answer to that is obsidian. Hmm, I put some obsidian here. There doesn't seem to be anything particularly suspicious about that. But there actually is. Let's take our flint and steel and light it up. And holy crap, we have ourselves a portal. A very creepy sounding portal at that. Where does this portal go, you ask? For those of you that don't already know, it goes to the Nether. And on the next episode, we will be stepping into the Nether for the very first time and exploring it just a bit. Because that is what most of this recording session is going to be dedicated to, actually, is the Nether. And all of its little creepy fun sounds, which now explains, I bet, this design of the building. Hooray! So yeah, the pie building, the symbol of power for the mountain house, is actually a portal to the nether. See you next time!